I'm at a gypsy. There's no, like, our grids and everything are nice, but there's no, it doesn't matter if it's a lucky, say, a club day at North Brisbane Motorcycle Club. You don't get that feeling like you get when you sat on the start grids and every bike, they're, you know, alba to alba. Yeah. You don't get that feeling anywhere else except for with the dirt bike. Yeah, okay. So it's like something you need to get. Yeah. Have you just never let go of the dirt bike thing? Because you're mm. so up to date on the whole motocross and supercross and you know a lot of these dudes and you're like you're in the thick of it i mean fuck you built us the melbourne supercross track and you were actively trying to race do, do people know that you were going to try and race lights mm, not really <laughs> was it supposed to be out there yeah I, I, I now we can say whatever we want but yeah a little more time and i would have gone out there like going down there i could have had a go let's say I, I wouldn't have looked that flash like i had all the rhythms in there, everything like that it was just uh because you got the, the Dirtworks boys to come and do yeah, the... Pro tracks, pro oh, tracks, pro tracks, pro yeah, ProTracks. ProTracks. Josh come and... Josh and Quinny come up and built my joint. And yeah. Quinny ripped out the uh, electricity. <laughs> the old man was not happy. <laughs> but, uh, no, we... Good luck fi- doing anything about that, but with Quinny, he's a fucking oh, massive legend. unit, He's eh? a legend. <laughs> and, no, nah, but we built that, and, like, I got everything down. Honestly, most of it easier than I expected. Like, I've rolled super cross tracks in that America and stuff like that before, but... I wanted to do it on my own terms in my own place like yeah, not, not have and wires and shit on you yeah. exactly and then like got everything down really quick quicker than I expected let's say but except the whoops yeah your bike um, was too soft but eh? way too soft yeah fucking Franco <laughs> did you do that mm. uh, the day before he doesn't give me much time <laughs> yeah fair enough then <laughs> <laughs> he's ordered springs and shit now so we're getting it sorted but it's too hot at the minute but oh, uh, it's bad up there Primac right? got me I teed up before the last race. I'm like, oh, can you get me? Because they do all the lighting towers now for uh, oh. for um, Kennards and Coates in Australia. Right. And I looked on the internet and I was like to my boss at Primo. I'm like, hey, I see you guys are doing lighting towers. You know, what's the chances of, of getting a couple? He's like, oh, I'll give you two. And I'm like, well, I kind of need four. I'll pay for them. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yeah, okay, I'll give you two. And, you know, we'll give you like cost price on two more. I'm like perfect and then I went and got party in the last race this was literally just before it. and then I contacted him on like the Thursday after the race because we had testing and everything and he's like hey so you don't really need to move them that much do you and he's like well I got these ones that, that, that like you can I said no dramas I'll pick them up with a forklift and move them like, yeah. Yeah, like I got a forklift at home and he's like okay I'll send you four of these no problem for free like so I'm waiting on them to arrive because once they're there then I'm fucking gold dude that's sick so you're going to have a super cross track under lights at your house mm-hmm that's mint I can't wait yeah have you got whoops there though yeah they're big oh so they're like they're, that's the thing like I started going through them before it was in between Thailand and Japan and like it wasn't great let's say that like <laughs> I was missing probably about 10k an hour I want to say yeah and I was like man that's a lot to make I'm up. not gonna do this right now before I gotta go and like do the thing I actually get paid to do yeah. next weekend like and you know that I'm supposed to be doing I'll show you yeah I'm I got gonna, a, I got a video see. like it wasn't bad but it wasn't fucking it wasn't good wasn't great either <laughs> it wasn't pretty we'll find it here yeah cause I can imagine that the old um MotoGP Pramac boss isn't like frothing on you he was not super stoked yeah works. when I put the photos up of like the track being built they were not stoked they were like what's this for Rara that's fucking awesome what do we got here where's whoops whoops for first day and then I like just put myself a cheetah line around them yeah I was gonna say you kinda got to <laughs> Townley was, was did you hear all that shit with Townley like trying to make me hit his whoops at his place was he yeah and I was like all I said was he's so soft he just <laughs> he, like, who Ben yeah or Ben I just said to him I was like he just put up a thing like trying to talk shit on Ricky I rode with him once Ben did in, you know uh, when he um when he uh, signed for Factory Suzuki in Europe, remember oh, when he made the comeback? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, I was just riding in Spain, and like him, Everts, and all the boys were there, and like it was flat, and like I was going pretty good that day. Like you can ask Ben, <laughs> I was going pretty good. But the next day, I went to Red Sand and completely fucking smashed my bottom of my leg into a million pieces. Wow, really? Yeah, like Tib fib the whole like knuckle of the. Fuck. Like, what? So what's? Here, give us there's the wish. people for the JR80. <laughs> Wait, answer it right now. <laughs> Just do it. I'm not answering. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, <laughs> see, contact them, bros. <laughs> that, that'd be funny. Tell them it's for Jack Miller and see if they do your deal. 
they won't, man. She's like wanted to go over the specs and shit for me. I'm oh. like, dude, I just want to do a burnout. I don't care about the bike. As long as it lasts, like it's a jar 80. They it's will gonna run last backwards. 80 seconds. They last forever. You'll never kill it. Like it could be here next year when we come back to do burnouts. <laughs> they are that good. Dude, speaking of Ben, that's what we need. That's the trip we need to do is we need to go to his house again. Dude, my dad froths over it because like really? being from New Zealand and like oh. he grew up riding in those hills. Dude, we should, he's like, we should take the boys one he's day. He's like, man, have you seen Ben? Look at the track Ben's at today. He's like Ben's number one fan. Really? Because he's like in New Zealand just riding these beautiful big bulldozed oh. into hills, just nice motocross tracks. I've, so I changed the phone and like it's taken that ages to... Yeah, you saw it. Taken ages oh, to load. Oh, yeah, you're on that. On the cloud, boy. I'll just try and get you on the Wi-Fi real quick. Oh, I don't even know if I know the password, actually. Ah, uh, we can we can do that on another episode. Yeah, fuck it. But you went through the whoops and you were... I got through them, like not bad, but also the suspension was bottoming out every time I hit each warp. It was going dunk, dunk, dunk to the bottom and like trying to fucking kick me out of the bar. So it wasn't too much fun. But <laughs> yeah, I love money. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy gang.